जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंदा जयो जयो श्री चैतन्ना जयो नित्यानंद चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंदा ग्लोरीज ऑफ द साक्षी गोपाल and uh what's which we have to start today is party 5 onwards so chaitanya charita amrit the lecture and past time of our chaitanya mahaprabhu is in three parts adi lila madhya lila and antya lila the first 24 years of chaitanya mahaprabhu from his childhood education up to taking sanyas is called adi lila then almost 5 to 6 years chaitanya mahaprabhu traveled throughout south india and brindavan then portion is called madhya lila and the last 18 years chaitanya mahaprabhu stayed at uh, jagannath puri that's called antya lila so madhya lila it means traveling of chaitanya mahaprabhu so this traveling of chaitanya mahaprabhu is from navadeep mayapur after taking sanyas that cut to up is traveling towards jagannath puri on the way at the place called kattak before bhuvaneshwar this past time which is narrated by nityanand prabhu himself who was accompanying chaitanya mahaprabhu in his tour is about the past time of sakshi gopal <coughs> so before we read the 45th or 6th verse the first verse of each chapter of chaitanya charitamrita is the say summary of the whole chapter in sanskrit by kaviraj goswami it says पदभ्यातिमा ब्रह्मण्य दम्यम विप्रेकृत्ते तम साक्षी गोपाल नस्मी कविराज गोस्वाम से पदाभ्याम चल पदाभ्याम चलम यह प्रतिमा स्वरूप प्रतिमा स्वरूप में डी डी फॉर्म प्रतिमा स्वरूप में डी डी फॉर्म पदाभ्याम में बाय फुट चलम में वाक्ट इन द डी डी फॉर्म सुप्रीम लॉर्ड वाक्ट ब्रह्मणे देव बिकॉज इज वेरी डियर टू ब्राह्मणस इज वेरी फेवरेबल टू ब्राह्मण ब्राह्मण देव आय गो ब्राह्मण देव आय सो देट इज ब्राह्मण देव आय बिकॉज इज फॉर द फेवर ऑफ ब्राह्मण गम्यम शत आह शत आह मीन्स वन हंड्रेड डेज शत मीन्स हंड्रेड आह मीन्स डेज अहनी मीन्स डे निशा मीन्स रात नाइट सो वन हंड्रेड डेज इट टूक फ्रॉम वृंदावन टू रीच टू विद्यानगर इन साउथ इंडिया वन हंड्रेड डेज इट मीन थ्री मंथ्स प्लस टेन डेज शत आहागम देशम यो सो फ्रॉम वृंदावन ही वॉक्ड ऑल दी वे टू साउथ इंडिया 
the place called Vidyanagar. Why? Viprakriti. To give the witness for the young Brahman boy. Vipra means Vedagya Brahman. A Brahman who is well versed in Vedas are very sincere devotee of the Lord. Adbhuteham, it is very astonishing and wonderful. Tam Sakshi that is Sakshi Gopal. I am going my respect to obeisance, it is not a sweet. So this is the summary of the whole chapter. Now we are going to the verse which we have to start today. This verse is 45. Let us start from 45. Is something here? 46. 46, okay. 46. Eta shuni viprera chintita haira mana Eta shuni viprera chintita haira mana Ekanta bhave chinte viprago pala charana Ekanta bhave chinte viprago pala charana Eta shuni viprera chintita haira mana Ekanta bhave chinte vipar gopal charana Eta shuni viprera chinte te haira mana Eta shuni viprera chinte Ekanta bhave chinte viprakopala charana Please. Eta suni viprera chinte tai lamana Eta suni viprera chinte tai lamana Ekanta bhave chinte viprakopala charana Eta suni viprera chinte tai lamana So this verse is connected to the previous verse. In the previous verse, the son of the elder Brahman told him that you simply say I don't remember that I have given promise to hand over my daughter in marriage to this younger poor Brahman. You simply say this. Rest I will take care. Ete Shuni means on hearing this. Viprena Chintil Hailaman, this elderly Brahman become completely confused. Chinte, he was now, Chinte Prabhupada says, agitated. How can I say lie? Then what he did? He gone to Bhavi with one pointed intention. Chinte Vipra Gopala Charan. He was simply meditating on the lotus feet of Gopal. So elderly Brahma Prabhupada writes, 
when the elder, elderly Brahman heard this, his mind became very much agitated, feeling helpless, he simply turned his attention to the lotus feet of Gopa. So there's no purpose, but this Brahman, he was advised to speak lie. That I don't remember anything. So he only simply taken shelter of lotus feet of Gopa. Now the next verse. Mura dharma raksha paaye na mare nija jana Dui raksha kare gopala leo sharana Is saying The elderly Brahman prayed, My dear Lord Gopal, I have taken shelter of your lotus feet and therefore I request you to please protect my dharma from disturbance and at the same time save my kinsmen from dying. It means he was in dilemma. I have given promise I must hand over the daughter but if I hand over the daughter then my family they are completely going to give up their life. They, they said it like we will do suicide if you do like that. It's like that. So Gopal now please you keep my dharma, what I have given my words, and as well as also at the same time save my kinsmen from dying. So Gopal is in trouble now. <laughs> he has put everything on the lap of Gopal. You do everything. Okay. And you do both things. It's very interesting. Huh? So God is so simple. Every Anything you can put on God and be free. <laughs> now, when he was thinking like this, meditating on the Supreme Lord, this, uh, the next day, the elderly Brahman was thinking deeply about the, this matter when the young Brahman came to his house. It means... Uh, the elderly brother told to their family member that on my pilgrimage some young Brahman has helped me. So I have handed over my life. Uh, daughter, I gave the words. They said, don't do this. We don't want to give our sister or our you know, daughter to poor Brahmins. Forget this. He said, how can I forget? He said, you simply say, I don't know. So then he's praying to Gopal and the, the Brahman came next day. The younger Brahman came next day. <coughs> and when he came, then what he said? Asina parama bhakta namaskara kari vinahe kariya kahe karadui jodi. The young Brahman came to him and offered respectful obeisances to the senior Brahman. Then, very humbly, folding hands, he spoke as follows. So he came to the house of elderly Brahman and with all respect he is speaking. What he is saying? Tumi more kanyadite kariyache angikara ebi kichu nahika ki tumara vichara You have promised to give your daughter in charity to me. He says charity. The word is kanya ache angikara Promise. You have promised to hand over your daughter to me. Srila Prabhupada has written the word charity to me. This is interesting, Chaitanya Chaitanya. It is in originally Bengali. Prabhupada, Shri Prabhupada translated it in English. Then he requested His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami to again translate in Bengali. So from Bengali he translated in English and then he wanted again to retranslate in Bengali. <laughs> so that's it. Srila Prabhupada once came out of the some program in Kolkata and when he came out there was somebody selling the sweet, Bengali sweet, Rasgulla, Sandesh. 
He said, Swamiji, very nice Bengali sweet. But what's the word Bengali sweet? He said, that's good, Sandesh. Papa said, I know only one Bengali sweet. So what is that Bengali sweet, Swamiji? Papa said, Bengali sweet is Chaitanya Chaitamrita. <laughs> Chaitanya Chaitamrita is Bengali, sweet Bengali. This is real sweet. So this is the sweet Bengali and uh, daughter in charity. This is a, 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 a Vedic terminology, Kanyadan. Kanyadan is a Vedic, Vedic terminology. So Prabhupada, it is, it's, it's like an honest tongue. Though there is no word charity in the verse, but because Kanyadan is a natural world, in a Vedic terminology to hand over the data as a highest charity to a say, eligible bona fide boy. Now you do not say anything. What is your conclusion? It means you said this, you promised. Now you are not speaking, you are just saying nothing. So what is your conclusion? What your decision? Etasuni sei vipra rahe monadhari Tahara putra marite aila hate tenga kari <laughs> The elderly Brahman kept quiet. After young Brahman submitted this statement, the elderly Brahman remained silent. Taking this opportunity, his younger Son immediately came out with a stick to strike the younger man. So generally when somebody keeps uh, silent, it means either he agrees that what you are saying, I accept it, or else generally it says mona sukriti lakshanam. If you keep uh, silent, it means you agree what I am asking you. But the son of the elderly Brahman took this opportunity that my father is not even speaking, so I should beat and make him run away from the home. So that's what happened. Uh, the son immediately came out with a stick to strike the young man. So what he should do now? Are adhama mora bhagni chaha vihaite. He is saying, Oh Adam, oh you wretched. Degraded one. It is telling to the younger Brahman. Vamana haya chanda yena chaye na dharite. And then he is giving an analogy. A, a, a draft man is trying to reach the sun or my moon. I, uh, this is translation. The sun said, son of a oh, elder brother said, Oh, you are most degraded, Adam. You want to marry my sister, Bhagani? Just like a draft, who want to catch the moon. It means you are too low and poor. We are rich as to get it. How can you marry my sister? Tanya deki tanya means stick. Tanya deki sei vipra plaina gela. He ran away. Ardhine gramera loka ekatara karila. Seeing a stick in the hand of his son, the younger Brahman fled. Ran away. Next day, however, he gathered together all people of the village. So this is a this is a, 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 a traditional. There is always a, a village council that is called panchayat. Panch means five, and those people usually used to do the decisions. When there is a there is no court or something in the old Vedic system, the selected senior people of the village used to do. Say, I'm, I'm giving you one example like that. Similar uh, dispute was about the marriage in two parties. They said, we give daughter and they said, no, 
they came to the panchayat. So Branch was very small, intelligent. He said, okay, anyway, those who are on the side of girls sit on the left side, those who are on the side of boys sit on the right side. So they segregated. Girls, parents sit on the one side. They said, now, they said, now please give your decision, judgment. Is it already given? Yeah. So what is that? So we never promise for marriage. He said, why you said separately? It means you already had agreement, do you thought that we are the parent. It means already the decision is made. It means you are telling lie, you already promised this. So like this wise people were so quick in decision. Wise people sit on this side, girls people sit on this side. It means you already have a promise of marriage, otherwise we say, we have no marriage, you can say like this, the no agreement. You simply say it, it means it was already decided. And then I'm remembering, <laughs> remembering another, a laughing joke. Usually nowadays any marriage anywhere, just there's a pandal and the food is ready. Any person who has little gentleman cloth, he can enter it and, and eat it, and whatever he likes. <laughs> this is the now fashion. So one person actually retired <coughs> from a government service and he has a party for his friends. So he arranged for say 50 people. But because Pandal was there, people thought there's some marriage. So hundreds of people were pouring in. As, as usual. So he was very intelligent. He said, oh, anyway, the, those who are on side of girl can come on this side and those who are on side of boys go on that side. So some 20 people went on one side and some 25 went on the other side. 